A tangent to a circle is a straight line that touches the circle at one point only on the circumference. So this is a tangent. This is a tangent. And this is also a tangent since they only touch the circle at one point on the circumference. So a tangent is a straight line that touches the circle at one point. And this is not a tangent. Why? Because it touches the, the circle at two points on the circumference. And a tangent is an exterior angle, not an interior angle. So this is not a tangent, but these are tangents. Even if you draw this line, this is not a tangent. Not tangent. Now let us proceed to theorems. Our first theorem, theory number one. A tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius drawn to its point of contact. So if we look at this circle, this is a tangent. We say the tangent touches the circle at one point only. So this radius is perpendicular to the tangent. That is, this angle is a 90 degree angle. Then theory number two, the perpendicular to a tangent at its point of contact passes through the center of the circle. So the perpendicular passes through the center. Therefore, it is a right angle like this. Now let us proceed to examples. For our examples, example one, calculate the size of angle alpha given that O is the center. So this is angle alpha and we have this angle 72 degrees. To make it easier for us, let us name our points. This name, this point will name it P and this point will name it R. So this, the angle that we are looking for is angle O R P. And from what we said about tangents, we said this angle is a right angle since these two this radius and the tangent are perpendicular. So from what we know about triangles, angles in a triangle add up to 180. So we said OPR, angle OPR is equal to 90 degrees because of the tangent room. And then angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees so it means this 72 degrees plus 90 degrees plus alpha is 180 degrees 72 degrees plus 90 degrees plus alpha is equal to 180 degrees so alpha is equal to 180 minus 90 degrees minus 72 degrees therefore alpha is equal to 18 degrees like this now let us proceed to example number two. The first thing that we do is we name our points. This is P, Q, R, and S. And we are looking for angle alpha. The first angle that we can look for given this angle is this angle OQR since this is a straight line. For angle OQR, OQR, is equal to 180 degrees minus 20 degrees because of the straight line angles in a straight line add up to 180 so this is equal to 160 degrees that is OQR 160 degrees now we can also find this angle angle POQ since this is an isosceles triangle this is equal to this. They are both radius. So this angle is equal to this angle. So to look for angle P O Q, this is equal to 180 minus 20 degrees minus 20 degrees isosceles triangle. So this is equal to 180 minus 40 is 140 degrees. So this is 140 degrees. Now to find angle, angle QOS, to find angle QOS, how, what do we do? This is a, so angle QOS, this angle is equal to, since this is a straight line, these two angles add up to 180. So it is 180 degrees minus 140 degrees, which is equal to 40 degrees. So for angle, angle OSR, angle OSR is 
OSR is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Because this is a tangent and this is a radius that passes through the circle. So this is 90 degrees. Now we are left with alpha. Since this is a quadrilateral, it has four sides. The angle should ebb up to 360 degrees. So alpha is equal to 360 minus this, uh, these angles. So alpha is equal to 360 degrees minus 160 degrees this angle minus this angle which is 40 degrees minus 90 degrees alpha is equal to 70 degrees now let us carry out the exercise that is on the screen may you please pause the screen carry out the exercise and check out the solution thereafter that I am going to give you. We will start with part 1a. Find angle theta. So we can see that this is a radius and this is a tangent. And this angle, this whole angle is equal to 90 degrees. So theta is equal to 90 minus 54 degrees. Why? Because of the tangent and radius this is perpendicular the tangent and the radius so theta is equal to 36 degrees that is our theta this whole angle is a right angle it is 90 degrees so 36 plus 54 is equal to 90 now let us proceed to part b now for part b we can name this angle x and this name angle x since these two angles are similar they are equal as this is an isosceles triangle as these two sides are equal so the first thing that we do we know that a triangle angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees so 180 degrees is equal to 140 degrees plus x plus this x so it becomes 180 degrees is equal to 140 degrees plus 2x then it becomes 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees so 2x is equal to 40 degrees then we divide both sides by 2 like this x is equal to 20 degrees we now have this angle and we can see that this is a radius and this is a tangent so this whole angle is equal to 90 degrees so to find theta x plus theta is equal to 90 degrees and since we know that x is 20 degrees it becomes 20 degrees plus theta is equal to 90 degrees so it becomes theta is equal to 90 degrees minus 20 degrees which is equal to 70 degrees so we have our theta now proceed to number two for number two our question was ac is a tangent to a circle with center o and bca is equal to 90 degrees if bac is equal to x degrees find oba oba and abc in terms of x so the first thing that we do is to find oba and we know that this is an isosceles triangle since these two sides are radius so these two angles are equal so we can look for this angle OAB first angle OAB plus angle X degrees is equal to 90 degrees why because this is a tangent and this is a radius so this whole angle is 90 degrees so angle OAB is equal to 90 minus X degrees like this so since angle OBA is equal to angle OAB it now means OBA is equal to 90 minus X degrees we have solved part angle ABC is equal to 90 minus X degrees so now for part B Part B says you ensure that AB bisects OBC. AB bisects OBC. So we can see that 
from part A, angle OBA is equal to 90 minus 8 degrees. And from part 2, angle ABC is equal to 90 minus 8 degrees. So since angle OBA is equal to angle ABC like this, then it shows, it shows that AB dissects OBA. We have finished all the examples. So now may you please subscribe to my YouTube channel Free Tutorial ZW for more video tutorials. Thank you.